I'm Joe with fpweb.net and you're watching Jono Support. Today we're going to look at ULS Viewer and see how it works. Okay, to troubleshoot using ULS, we're going to open up the ULS Viewer on the server. Go ahead and click on Run, and we're going to go over here and go to File. We're going to go down to Open and ULS. I'm just going to click on OK and get that guy running. Now over here in SharePoint, which I have up on this left window, is going to be where we're going to cause an error. So this error is going to be too, a file that's too big to upload. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that now. I have a test file here. I'm going to upload that to SharePoint. It's not going to work. We're going to have that actually error out here in just a second. Okay, and it gave me a correlation ID error. So I'm going to take that correlation ID and go back over to ULS Log Viewer. And I'm going to open that column up for correlation IDs. And actually what I can do is maximize this view on this uh, viewer here. And now I'm going to search for that specific correlation ID. And as I find it here, I'll be able to click on it and highlight it. Let's see, here it is. Now I double click on it, it'll open up in a new window. And the top line is the definition. So I can see here that it tells me the specified file is larger than the maximum supported file size. And now you see how to use ULS Viewer to actually identify a correlation ID error. In this case, it was a file size too big. Next week, we'll talk about how you can correct something like that. And that is another ticket served.